The Murdoch saga has gained international attention and prompted multiple documentaries and podcasts. We have been covering every twist and turn of this story and continuing our coverage this afternoon. Blair Sable with our sister station in the Low Country. It's been a little over a year since Maggie and Paul Murdoch were found dead at a family home here in Colleton County on June 7th, 2021. Now, since then, the state has remained relatively tight lipped about Alec Murdoch's involvement, if any, up until this morning when those indictments came down. And while the proceedings that happened here at this courthouse this morning remain secret, as is the case with most grand jury proceedings, it does mean now that there is enough evidence to move forward with a case against Murdoch. He is facing two counts of murder and two counts of possession of a firearm during a violent crime for the deaths of his late wife, Maggie, and his son, Paul. The indictments read that with malice aforethought, he shot and killed Maggie with a rifle and his son with a shotgun. Details about how the state connected Murdoch, though, were not released. A statement from his lawyers read, Alec wants his family, friends, and everyone to know that he did not have anything to do with the murders of Maggie and Paul. He loved them more than anything in the world. It was clear from day one that law enforcement and the attorney general prematurely concluded that Alec was responsible. They're now filing a motion for a speedy trial and requesting that the attorney general's office turn over all evidence within the next 30 days. In Colleton County, I'm Blair Sable. And we have continuing coverage right now. At one time, the Murdoch family, one of the most powerful and influential families here in South Carolina. And we fast forward to today where Alec Murdoch has really changed all of it. Cody wanted to add some additional information too. Yeah, that bond learned. hearing for Murdoch will be on Wednesday of next week. So much more on that yeah. coming up. But right now, you just heard Tori talking about mm -hmm. the family history and how right. Alec Murdoch has really changed their dynasty in this state. Mm -hmm. And here's our morning anchor, Margaret Ann Carter, taking a closer look at the Murdoch family history. For more than 100 years, the Murdochs have been practicing law in the Low Country. Randolph Murdoch Sr. graduated from the University of South Carolina's law school, starting a law office in Hampton County back in 1910. In 1920, he became solicitor of the 14th District, covering Allendale, Colleton, Hampton, Beaufort, and Jasper counties. The solicitor oversees the prosecution of criminal cases in the district. He died in a train wreck in 1940. He was then succeeded by his son, Randolph Buster Murdoch Jr., and served the district from 1940 to 1986 when he retired. Randolph Randy Murdoch III then took office as solicitor for the same district as his grandfather and father in 1986. He retired 20 years later to go into the private practice. The Murdoch family firm created by Randolph Murdoch Sr. continued to grow, and all three of the Murdochs helped in running the office. Alec Murdoch joined the family firm in the 90s after graduating from USC Law School, just like all of the lawyers in his family. He also volunteered at the solicitor's office. Alec Murdoch was arrested in September of 2021, charged with fraud. And in January of 2022, Murdoch's name was dropped from his former law firm, which is now known as Peters, Parker, Eltsroth, and Detrick. They continue to practice with most of the same high-profile lawyers. The firm has won national recognition, including being ranked by U.S. News and World Report.